All right, we have the integral of 3x to the ninth power times cosine x to the fifth power times dx. We have to figure out what, what is the answer to this. So, um, so first of all, a couple thoughts come to my mind uh, in the beginning. The first is um, I've got a function within a function. I've got the x fifth embedded within cosine. So that, that's think, that tells me u substitution. Okay, but also on the other hand, um, I have... Uh, a, a something, a 3x to the ninth power times the other thing. Now, u substitution is not going to take care of all that. It's not going to take care of this entire 3x to the ninth. And so that tells me partial fractions. And so actually, we have to use both on this one. Um, so when, when you have a combination of u substitution and partial fractions, you you generally will start with the, with the u substitution. So, um, so u substitution needs u. Partial fractions, you need a u and a dv. And so it gets a little confusing. We've got a u twice, we, but they're, they're different u's. And so instead of using u, um, let's, use, let's just pick another letter. How about like uh, um, w? We'll, we'll, we'll just call it w substitution. It doesn't really matter what letter you use. So we'll call it w substitution for this. All right, so let's start by saying let's uh, w equal um, the embedded function, the, the x to the fifth. Okay, and then dw is 5x to the fourth power times uh, dx. Okay, and then like usual, you can you can uh, solve uh, for the dx. So dw divided by 5x to the fourth equals dx. All right, so now let's go um, to here. Let, first, let me copy this down. So I've got uh, integral 3x to the ninth times cosine x to the fifth times dx. Okay, so so um, so x to the fifth, that becomes u. The dx becomes dw divided by 5x to the fourth. Okay, uh, so now um, let's carry out the, the, the w substitution. So, um, so I've got the 3 and the 5, so that'll just be 3 fifths. Okay, I've got x to the ninth divided by x to the fourth is x to the fifth. Okay, and then um, I've got cosine u du. All right, now I've got two variables. I've got an x and a u, and, and that's not going to fly. Even with partial fractions, I can't like let u equals, you know, one variable on dv have another. But lucky for us, this x to the fifth, there we have it. It, that equals w so that i can substitute as well um oops i sorry this should be a w not a uh sorry this yeah does it i i'm so used to using u substitution but this should be a dw and this should be a w as well so w w dw okay so the final substitution will be three fifths i've got w times cosine w times dw all right now if you're wondering if this hadn't been x to the fifth if this had been like x to the i don't know seventh or something then that that w would substitution wouldn't be quite so clean but but you still might be able to to, to figure something out um anyways let, let's move on so now i've got a function w and i've got a function cosine w so now it's time to do partial fractions. And, and here I can just use regular u and, and regular v. All right, so um, let's see here. Uh, it, sometimes there's a little bit of trial and error involved, but um, algebraic, if you remember, li8 logs comes first, but there's no logs. I is inverse trig, but there's no inverse trig. A is algebraic. 3 fifths w is is algebraic. So so this will be my my u. And then this, the cosine part, will be the will be my dv. All right, so so uh, u is three fifths, to, or actually just w. The three fifths is just actually I changed my mind. The three fifths is just three fifths. It's just uh, just it's out there in front, so no no need to even worry about that. So my u is um, is w, and then my dv is cosine w times dw. All right, now, um, 
du is just one times dw. And then dv, uh, I got to do the antiderivative and I get v equals sine of w uh, because derivative sine is, is cosine. Okay, and then the formula is u, oops, hold on there. It's uv minus integral v du. So u times v, right there, it's w times sine w minus and then integral v du. So that's sine w times 1 w. So that's just sine times dw. Oops, hold on, I forgot. It's sine of w times dw. Okay, now, um, okay, my w sine w, that, that's all good. Let's just recopy that down. Okay, now the derivative, excuse me, the antiderivative of sine is um, negative cosine. So negative cosine of w and then plus c. Um, and then negative of negative is positive. So I've got w times sine w plus cosine w plus c. Okay, then back substitute w is um, x to the fifth. So I've got x to the fifth times sine x to the fifth plus cosine x to the fifth plus c except oh, i just remembered the darn three-fifths <laughs> so all along there should have been a three-fifths in all of these here so let's just copy all that down three-fifths 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 and then um let's distribute that three-fifths through so three-fifths times the x five and then three-fifths times the the cosine is three-fifths. Um, and then three-fifths times the constant is just a constant. So that's just still plus C. All right, so there, there is my answer.